2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Novi, Michigan. We're talking to Don Weimer of Weimer Original Designs. Don, uh, give us a short uh, intro into your background, please. Well, my uh, background is mostly motorcycle inspired. I uh, grew up with motorcycles with my dad, riding uh, hill climb. I got into BMX and motocross and Supercross also, and uh, now in the last five, six years, I've been building motorcycles. Uh, what, what were you trying to accomplish on this build? Well, this bike here is uh, stripped right down. Uh, it's more of a street racer style bike with a little bit of bobber influence. Kept everything pretty much raw, metal, uh, a lot of aluminum, lightweight, chrome alley frame, a lot of handmade parts on this bike. Uh, that's pretty much what I do. I try to do all the fabricating myself, not much paint, but uh, kind of the old vintage rat rod, bobber style, just uh, down and dirty, good hard rider, fast, and a uh, fun bike to ride. What was your inspiration on this bike? I wanted something that I could hop on any time and uh, race up in town, mess around uh, you know, on the roads and not have to worry about custom paint getting scratched or anything else. Uh, just something that could ride hard and not have to worry about it. Tell us about the fabrication. Well, this took about uh, five months to do this bike over the winter. Here in Michigan, you get bored when the snow flies, so I hand built the frame, the uh, fender, gas tank, all the trimmings on that, the aluminum as far as the headlight, the velocity stack, oil tank, exhaust, the covers, um, that's all handmade in my shop. The whole front end is off one of my motocross race bikes. Uh, for Kawasaki um, KX250, all aluminum also, Sportster 1250 motor, a very fast, very lightweight bike. The front end is off the Kawasaki. Did you do anything special on that? Well, I had to stiffen the springs. I got the stiffest I could find and uh, up the oil content so it would be able to handle the extra weight because the bike weighs a little more than a motocross bike. Um, not a whole lot really done different to it. Did some gold valving just so it uh, worked a little bit better with the extra weight. But other than that, a little bit of machining differences as far as the bearings from the Japanese to the uh, American uh, bearings. But that's pretty much it. What about the difference in rake between this one and the motocross bike? Well, yeah, this is definitely raked out a little bit more than a motocross bike. You want to turn sharp with a motocross bike, and this one here, you're not you know, barrel racing with it, so you're just cruising the street. This has got uh, probably about 15 degree more rake than your standard dirt bike. The tank, is that paint or is that just uh, anodized aluminum? No, it, it has paint on it. It's a uh, satin gray. Um, it's got a uh, satin clear over it. And then all the, uh, the airbrush work is all satin black. Uh, also has brass accents and aluminum on each one of the uh, pieces. But uh, just plain and simple, no gloss really, didn't want a chrome bike, just wanted something that was uh, easy to ride and easy to maintain without worrying about getting the chrome and paint messed up. What was the most challenging part of the paint? Uh, probably the airbrushing, you know, making sure everything's even on both sides, getting uh, the design down. You know, when you put it on one side, it's pretty easy, but to duplicate it, make it the same on both, that's a little challenge, but some measuring and standing back and Looking it over, it uh, it worked out pretty good. Let's talk about the back end. Well, this bike's a rigid. It does have uh, suspension underneath the seat. It's a uh, mountain bike shock underneath the seat. So for my weight, you know, uh, it works really good. It makes the bike really launch off the line because you really don't want a softer end on a bike if you're you know racing around and things like that. But uh, it's been stretched two inches over a standard Harley configuration. I've got a 200 on the back with a soft compound tire. The uh, wheels are actually Supermoto aluminum race wheels that you would see uh, on the Supermoto um, dirt bikes that they race, combination dirt and concrete. So like I said before, everything's real light and uh, makes it real agile and quick. With a soft compound, what, what type of uh, uh, mileage do you get out of a rear tire? Well, this one probably not too much because every time I pull into a parking lot, I like to smoke the tire. So, you know, it, it's it's purpose built. This bike is your hot rod bike. It's not your daily driver. You know, I pull this out and go to bike nights and uh, cruise around my friends, and I'm not afraid to 
stop and uh, do a smoke show and, and have some fun. So I will probably get maybe half a riding season on that back tire if I'm lucky. What companies were instrumental in getting your bike finished? Well, uh, not too many on this either. Uh, like I said before, I do most of my stuff in-house. You know, maybe ordering like the wheels, you know, uh, from a supplier, that's about it. But everything else I built, did on my own. And uh, I like to control that. I don't like sending things away. And uh, creative differences happen and it doesn't come back the way I like it. So I do all my own paint, all my own fabricating and my own design work and uh, it's my bike so that's it comes out the way I want it. For more information how can somebody contact you? My website is weimeroriginaldesigns.com and my phone number is 269-420-7693. It is appointment only so if you have any questions on fabricating or a bike build or any helpful advice more than happy to help. Don, thank you very much. Thank you.